Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll solve problems number 103 and 104. Problem number 103, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. We've been told that, we are being told, in our other, that 25 years ago, a father was eight times as old as his son. 25 years ago, the father was eight times as old. We are further told that in five years' time, five years from now, that is, he will only be twice as old. The question simply is, based on these two statements, based on these two facts, that 25 years ago he was eight times as old, and five years from now he'll only be twice as old, how old are they today? Let's get going, shall we? The very first thing we have to do, as always in any word problem, is to define our variables, define our unknowns, that is. We have two unknowns here. Which two unknowns do we have? Well, obviously the father's age and the son's age. Let's define them. Okay, let's define them. You have to be very specific, very clear as to what the variables are going to represent. So let's, here's the solution. So let, let S be let S and F be their ages. Let's, let's F I'm not going to write everything down in the, in, the, in, the, in the real work, of course. You have to be more specific that let S be the son's age, let S represent the son's age, and F represents the father's age. Is this enough, you think? Is this, is this good enough? The answer is no. This is not good enough. This is not good at all. Because you have to specify the time period. This, this problem is dealing with several, uh, two different time periods. One time period that is, the, is one, the, one time period that, that we're dealing with is something that appears, that occurred 25 years ago. And one time period that we're dealing with is something that's going to happen five years from now. These variables that we're using here, S and F to represent son's age and father's age, are to represent their ages when? 25 years ago? Or five years from now? The answer is neither. Let S and F represent their current ages. It's very important that we make it very clear, which is why we take our time to actually write it down. Now we can begin our process, okay? So there are two time periods that we're dealing with. We're going to represent two time periods right here next to each other in a nice checked up position so that we can follow them. One is 25 years ago. 25 years ago. The other one is five years from now. Five years from now. As long as you're systematic, as long as you're, as long, as long as you're very clear in your, in your, in your in your presentation, you will also be very clear in your thinking. That's what it is. Messy work represents messy thinking. So what do we know about 25 years ago? Well, first thing first. First thing first, we are, we are using letter F to represent father's current age. If that's how old he is today, if that's how old the father is today, 25 years ago, what was the father's age? What 25 years ago, whatever his age is today, he was 25 years less, F minus 25. S, S we are using to represent for our son's current age. Well, S, if son is S years old today, how old was son 25 years ago? Well, son must be whatever the age is, is today, minus the 25. Are you with me so far? So that's your father's age 25 years ago, that's son's age 25 years ago, which is why it's under here. And what do we know at that time? What sort of relationship exists between these two quantities 25 years ago? 25 years ago, we are told the father was eight times son's age. Whatever the son's age was, you take that quantity and you multiply it by eight and that's how, the, that's how old the father was. There you go. That equation, you are 100% sure that it is correct. 100% certain that that equation is correct. Now well, let's work on this one. Five years from now. Well, how old is the father today? How old is the father today? Father today is F years old. Well, F, if father is F years old today, how old do you suppose he's going to be? Five years from now. Well, whatever his, whatever his age is today, five years from now, he'll be five years more. Similarly, the son, we said, is S years old today. Five years from now, the son should be S plus five. And what sort of relationship exists between these two quantities? What sort of relationship will exist, not exist? What sort of relationship will exist 
between these two quantities in five years time. In five years time we are told he, he being the father, father will be twice as old. So this is the father's age, whatever the father's age is, that amount is two times this quantity. So you take that two quantity, multiply it by two and there you go. That's all it is. Now we're going to work on a solution. The rest is downhill. The rest is very easy. The rest is downhill. Let's work on it. Show me. Let's work on it. Bring the 5 to that side. So we end up with f equals 2s plus 2 times 5 is 10. And then you bring the 5 to that side. 10 minus 5 is just going to be 5. I'm not going to show all these steps. And here we have well, here we're going to do it out here. F minus 25 equals 8 times S, which is 8S, and 8 times 25, which is going to be 200. And then let's bring the 25 to that side by adding 25 to both sides. And it's going to go away. F equals 8S minus 175. But we know what F equals to. F is right here. And this is F here, which means this quantity represents F and that quantity represents F, which means putting the two of them together, I'm going to continue here, putting this equation and this equation together, substitute the value of F from that equation here, and then 8S minus 175 must equal this quantity right here, 2S plus 5, because that's this, this quantity right here is the F, which is what that is. So here we have 8S, here we have 2S, I shouldn't have put a circle there because it's going to be annoying now. Let's subtract 2s from both sides. I'm taking too long here. Let's pick up some speed. Let's subtract 2s from both sides. And let's add 175 to both sides. Okay. 175 is going to go away. 8s minus 2s is going to be 6s equals 175 plus 5 is going to be 180. And that implies that sun's age must be 30. Son must be 30. If son is 30, the father must be, again, it's up to you. You can either use this one or that one. I'm just going to use this one here. If son is 30, father is going to be 2 times 30 plus 5. 2 times 30 plus 5, father must be 65 years old today. Son is 30 years old today. Are we done? Not quite. We're not quite done yet. We're going to take two seconds to actually verify our work. So where can we verify it? Let's verify it up here. Where did my eraser thingy go? It just flew away. Oh boy. I don't know where the hell it went. Let's verify our work. Up here. Again, set it up nicely. Set it up nicely, which is very important. So, here is here is the son, here is the father, here is now, and this is what we are claiming. We are claiming that now son is 30 years old, we are claiming the father is 65 years old. And this thing has to make sense as we talk about these two scenarios. So let's talk about 25 years ago. 25 years ago, 25 minus son on the top. 25 years ago, if we're going, if we're going to claim the son is 30, in order for this answer to be right, in order for son to be 30, in, in order for this answer to be correct, 25 years ago, son better be five years old. Similarly, if we're going to claim that the father is 65 years old today, 25 years ago, father better be 40 years old. And is is does 40 does 40 equal eight times five? The answer is it does. 25 years ago, father was 8 times son's age. Let's talk about what happens 5 years from now. 5 years from now, if son is going to be 30 today, if you're going to claim that son is 30 today, 5 years from now, son is going to be 35. And if we're going to claim that father is 65 years old, 5 years from now, father is going to be 70. Is 70 is 70 2 times 35? The answer is yes, 70 is 2 times 35. 5 years from now, Father is only twice as old. Five years from now, five years from now, son is going to be 35. Father is going to be 70. Therefore, five years from now, father is only twice as old, which means our answer is correct. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more.
why don't you do it this time yourself after I put the problems on the blackboard? After I put the problem on the blackboard, pause the video and do it yourself first. Eight years ago, eight years ago, this is 104. Eight years ago, father was all times as old as his son. Today he is he is only he is only four times as old. Eight years ago he was twelve times as old, today is only Today is only four times as old. How old are they now? How old are, how old are they now? Let's get going. Again, it's important that you define your variables properly. You have to be very clear in it. So here we go. Let's, this time, this time, let's, just to make things interesting, just to make things interesting, to show you how setting up differently uh, has a different uh, different outcome. The, the the equations look a little bit differently. I'm going to show you here where we're going to use variables not from the current time period, but from from eight years ago. Let's use the let x represent. Let x be son's age. Let x be son's age eight years ago. Eight years ago. Remember that. This is eight years ago. He was x years old. Okay? Let's begin the story. Again, why eight years ago? Just to make it interesting. Just so you can see how to set it up using a different time period. Instead of today's instead of pretending that he is x years old today we are using x to represent his age that was eight years ago so what, what do we know about today so here we go so this is eight years ago eight years ago here's the son here's the father father son we are pretending this x years old well if son, if you're going to pretend that son was x years old eight years ago what do we know about eight years ago? Eight years ago, how old was father? Father, we are told, is 12 times this old. Father was 12 times this old. So if you're going to pretend the son is X years old, father must be 12 times the amount, 12 X years old. What else do we know? Today, today, well, if he was X years old eight years ago, then the son must be X plus eight. And father must be 12 X plus eight. Because that's how old he was eight years ago, so therefore today he must be eight more than that. Now, what sort of relationship exists between these two quantities? We are told that today he is only four years old. This is the father's age. This is the father's age here. Father's age. This is the son's age. This is today. Today, father's age is this right here 12x plus 8. 12x 12x plus 8 and what's the sun's age today? x plus 8 and what sort of the relationship exists between these two quantities? well we are told that today he is only 4 times as old so whatever, whatever this quantity is whatever the sun's age is today you multiply that by 4 and that's how the, old the father is that's it we are done that's all it is we just have to solve for x the rest is very simple the rest is downhill. We get 4x plus 32. We get 12x plus 8. Subtract 4x from both sides. Subtract 8 from both sides. And the rest is very simple. 8 is going to drop out. Positive 12 and a negative 4 is going to give us 8x equals. Positive 4x and negative 4x are going to drop out. And 32 minus 8 is 24. Which means sun is 3 years old. Son is 
three years old. Another, no, 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 I said it wrong. I'm going to say it one more time the wrong way. I said just now a second ago, son is three years old. No, son is not three years old. See, I, I lost track of things, didn't I? Which is why it's very important to concentrate. Son is not 12 years old. What I should have said at this point, when we got X, when we got this x equals to 3, what I should have said is that son was 3 years ago. Son was. X represents his age 8 years ago. Son was 3 years old. 8 years ago. Let's verify. Let's make sure that, uh, the, that, that this answer makes sense. Okay? We're going to do the verification on the top. So they were asking for their ages today. We can finish it up. If son is three years old, if son was three years old, eight years ago, today, today's son's age is going to be. So this is this is today. The son's age is going to be eleven. And the father's age is going to be. Father's age. Where is father's age? Right here. Father's age is right here. So it's right here is the father's age. 12x plus 8 it represents father's age today. You see? Father's age today. 12x plus 8. And x we are saying is 3. So it's 12 times 3 plus 8. 36 plus 8. 36 plus 10 would have been 46. So it's 44. It is equal to 44. And is 44, is 44 4 times 11? Is 44 4 times 11? Because we are told... We were told that today the father is only four times old. And the answer is yes, he is four times as old as son, which means our answer is correct. The son must have been three years ago, eight years ago. Three, three years old, son must have been three years old, eight years ago. And therefore his son is 11 years old today, which makes father 44 years old. Bye now.